An aneurysm can be dangerous when they rupture and bleed. Um, the blood in, into the brain does not have very much space to go anywhere, so it can cause a lot of compression and, and damage to the brain. About half of patients who have a ruptured aneurysm essentially don't even make it to the hospital. It's that devastating. The ways we have treated aneurysms has evolved and is continually evolving with technology. I think now the push is to be able to do things more minimally invasive and the technology now is essentially microscopic nanotechnology because if we can get these coils or even other devices such as flow diverting stents and intrasacular flow disruptors, these are all things that now we can try to put inside an aneurysm or do something in the blood vessel where an aneurysm comes from so that blood flow or blood pressure is reduced and allow for that aneurysm to heal on its own. Here at WVU Medicine, it's such a good team approach where we work together with the neurosurgeons, the neurologists, a multidisciplinary team to discuss patients with these vascular diseases to find out what will be the best method of treatment, whether it would be minimally invasive versus something more uh, open surgical. To be from West Virginia and to be able to serve the patients of this state where if they have an aneurysm that needs treated and we're able to offer them these minimally invasive treatments, these treatments that are uh, very advanced that they don't have to go somewhere else further, I, it makes me feel very much a, almost a part of West Virginia family as a whole, that we were able to help that family member uh, in our own house as opposed to having to send them somewhere outside.